everyone welcome back to GK today i am mujhe sana and in this video we'll cover the current affairs before we move ahead let me inform you that these questions are part of our daily 20 mcq series 2022 in the gk today's android application so if you are looking for the text version of these questions and their explanations along with the interactive quiz you may consider joining our daily 20 mcq series in the gk today android application in this course in app you get daily 20 mcqs a fortnightly quiz a monthly revision document and also category wise revision ebooks that are optimized for reading on mobile you are also able to access all archives of questions from january 2020 onwards and let me tell you one more thing if you want the hindi version of this session you can refer to our former channel named as gk today the link has been given in the description box from where you can reach to so without taking much of your time let's get started good morning everyone welcome back to gk today and today we'll be discussing most important mcqs for 27th and 28th of february 2022 starting with very first question which state or union territory recently approved the policy on promotion of foreign investment in the industrial sector so the administrative council under the chairmanship of lieutenant governor manoj sinha approved the policy on promotion of foreign investment in the industrial sector in jammu and kashmir so this new policy aims to facilitate foreign investment higher than 100 crore rupees with a minimum of 51% foreign stake okay now apart from it union msme minister narayan rane has announced the formation of msme technology center at sindhugarh in maharashtra and this will be set up at a cost worth 200 crore rupees now apart from it in the month of october in 2019 anup kumar mendiratta became the first serving judge to be appointed as union law secretary and recently he became the first union law secretary to be appointed as the judge in high court so basically president of india has appointed four persons as the judge of delhi high court by exercising power that has been conferred in article 217 of the indian constitution so which are these four people first is neena bansal krishna second is dinesh kumar sharma third is anup kumar mendiratta and fourth is sudhir kumar jain fine so now the working strength of delhi high court will increase to 34 against the sanctioned strength of total 62 judges fine so talking about delhi government of delhi is all set to pitch delhi as international film making destination by approving the delhi film policy 2022 to enable inclusive growth through tourism in delhi right so delhi government will provide subsidies of up to 3 crore rupees in the films that are made in the delhi also delhi film card of value 1 lakh rupees will also be introduced for offering special deals and packages to the production agencies and film makers okay question number 2 Which institution released reports documenting India's COVID-19 vaccine development and administration journey? So, Union Health Minister Mansukh Mandavi has released two reports from the Institute for Competitiveness that document India's COVID-19 vaccine development and vaccine administration journey. So, this report on India's vaccine development focused on 100 crore rupees support from PM Cares Fund. for indigenous vaccine and collaboration of indian pharma companies with global candidates for conducting the clinical trials so the report on administration focused on adoption of mobile applications also for example covin and arogya setu okay now apart from it india has improved its overall intellectual property index score from 38.4% to now 38.6% and the country is ranked 43 among 55 countries on international intellectual property index 2022 so this index was released by global innovation policy center of us chamber of commerce right in this first place was occupied by usa and which are the top 5 countries after usa it was followed by uk then germany then sweden and france 
So these were the top five countries in the intellectual property index. Now apart from it, Indian business ranks fifth in their concern for climate change. And this report examines the business leaders and companies' concerns and actions related to climate change and sustainability. Fine. Also, India ranks fourth in the Global Entrepreneurship Report Monitor 2021-22 report. And which was the topper country in this? The topper country was Saudi Arabia. Then it was followed by Netherlands. And at third place, it was Sweden. Okay. Now, under the directions from the Food Safety and Standards Authority of India, packaged food items are set to bear a health star rating. So the number of stars will indicate how healthy or unhealthy the item is, fine. So this rating will be based on the amount of fat, sugar and salt present in the food item. And the supporting study was conducted by IIM Ahmedabad. Okay. So simply you can be asked that health star rating is an initiative of which particular organization? Answer is FSSAI. Question number three, which union ministry launched the national strategy for additive manufacturing? So the Ministry of Electronics and IT released the National Strategy for Additive Manufacturing. And as per this strategy, India aims to increase the share in global additive manufacturing to 5% within the next three years. And it could likely add $1 billion to GDP at this time. So 3D printing or additive manufacturing uses computer-based designing to make the prototypes or working models of objects, fine. Now apart from it, Ministry of Coal has announced that the target of all India coal production of 1.2 billion tons up to 2023-24 to has been fixed. Then India is the fifth largest exporter of millets in the world according to 2020 data. And exports have increased at around 3% in just 5 years. Also recently, India's Directorate General of Foreign Trade has announced that the import of drones is completely banned in India. So this move blocks the market for China's SZ DJI technology company, which is the world's top drone maker and hence encourages the India's local industries to increase their drone production. Okay. Also do remember that recently central government has set the target for replacing diesel with renewable energy in the agricultural sector by which year? By 2024. And Ministry of New and Renewable Energy launched Pradhan Mantri Kusum scheme for farmers for installation of the solar pumps and grid connected solar and other renewable power plants. Okay, You have to tell me what does Kusum term stands for? Please answer me in the comments. Question number four. Which country has unveiled a new missile named as Khyber Buster? So Iran has recently unveiled a new missile that is capable of hitting nearby US bases in the region and targets within Israel. So the Khyber Buster is a reference to a Jewish castle overrun by Muslim warriors led by Prophet Muhammad and it has a range of 900 miles and runs on solid fuel. So Iran has the largest arsenal of missiles in the Middle East. Okay. Now apart from it, the third edition of joint military exercise named as exercise Dharma Guardian 2022 will be conducted from 27th of February to 10th of March 2022 between India and Japan at Belgaum in Karnataka. Then recently three more Rafale fighter aircraft landed in India from France and total Rafale fleet with IAF has reached to 35 and the 36th and the final aircraft will arrive in India from France by March or you can say April 2022. Now Indian Navy has received the 12th anti-submarine warfare aircraft P-8I from US Aerospace Company Boeing and this is the fourth of four additional aircraft. Can you tell me? We have bought MS-60 Romeo helicopters from which particular country? Do let me know in the comments. Question number five. 
which a state or union territory has organized the baba saheb the grand musical play on the life of dr b r ambedkar so the new delhi government has organized this and the mega show runs at the jawaharlal nehru stadium with two shows a day and the inspirational life of baba saheb dr ambedkar is depicted through a grand musical play which will be a treat to the audience can you tell me dr bhimrao ambedkar has called which of the fundamental right as the heart and soul of indian constitution do let me know if you remember now indian council for cultural relations has organized a crafts exhibition come fair in delhi with the aim of popularizing the traditional indian craft among the diplomatic community and this craft was held as a part of azadi ka amrit mahotsav celebrations fine also government of delhi is to begin a redeveloping street scaping and beautification project so under this project roads in delhi will be redeveloped to european standards and government will pay 60% of the project cost to the agencies which are implementing this particular project okay also talking about delhi in the month of january recently delhi chief minister arvind kejriwal has flagged off the first electric bus of the delhi transport corporation so delhi government has planned to release 50 more electric buses by february or march and delhi government is to install charging stations in the bus depots as well so these charging stations are to be built in the phased manner okay question number 6 which global association has recently published its draft data act so the european commission published its draft data act with new rules for data sharing and forms part of european union's strategy to make it a leader in the data agile economy so the proposed legislation aims to make data sharing and data use easier and to set a standard at an european union wide level so it calls for the manufacturers to allow owners of connected devices to see what data they are gathering basically okay now what is quantum key distribution it is basically a mechanism which uses cryptographic protocol to undertake secure communication so recently what happened is a joint team of scientists from drdo that is defense research and development organization and iit delhi successfully demonstrated qkd link between prayagraj and vindhyachal in uttar pradesh which is a distance of more than 100 kilometers okay so you can be asked that what is the main objective of quantum key distribution answer is secure communication now pradhan mantri kisan scheme was launched on 24th of february in the year 2019 to provide income support to all the land holding farmers families what does kisan stands for kisan samman nidhi okay so under this scheme an amount of 6000 rupees per year is transferred in three equal installments of 2000 rupees directly into the bank accounts of the farmers okay so over 1.8 lakh crore rupees have been transferred directly under this particular scheme fine now earlier we have seen that south africa has launched its first satellite constellation development first satellite constellation that has been developed entirely in africa and the three locally produced nano satellites which made up the country's first maritime domain awareness satellite constellation were launched from cape canaveral in the us okay do remember that this is a part of space access transporter 3 mission fine right? question number 7 nikarshan sadan a dredging museum has been inaugurated in which city so union minister for ports shipping and waterways mr sarvanand sonowal inaugurated the nikarshan sadan which is the dredging corporation museum in visakhapatnam so dredging corporation of india is celebrating 45 years of rendering service to the national ports and this ci which is owned by four major ports administered under ministry of ports shipping and waterways is a specialized maritime unit of dredging and land reclamation okay so do remember pradhan mantri Narendra Modi is set to inaugurate 9802 crore rupees Saryu Canal national project in Uttar Pradesh Balrampur district and this project connects 
five rivers which include Ghagra, Sariu, Rapti, Denganga and Rohi. Also, Haryana government has launched Khel Nursery Scheme to promote sports in the state. And under it, sport nurseries will be started in government, private educational institutions and private sport institutions. So basically under this scheme, sport nurseries are being opened for the sports included in Olympics, Asian and Commonwealth Games. Okay. Can you tell me which ministry is implementing various skill development schemes? For example, Nai Manzil or you can say Sikho and Kamau and another is Ustad. You have to tell me the name of that particular ministry. Question number 8. Vishaka guidelines seen in the news sometimes was associated with which issue? So Vishaka guidelines were passed by the Supreme Court of India in Vishaka and others state of Rajasthan case in 1997 regarding sexual harassment at workplace. So recently the first workshop on prevention of sexual harassment at workplace was held under the ages of Department of Legal Affairs, Ministry of Law and Justice. So sexual harassment at workplace is the violation of fundamental rights under Article 14, 21 of the Indian Constitution. Now let's talk about few things regarding our fundamental rights. First of all, do remember that Indian Constitution give us the fundamental rights in the articles from 12 to 35. Okay. First is right to equality. Then second is right to freedom. Third is right against exploitation. Fourth is right to freedom of religion. Fifth is cultural and educational rights. And last is right to constitutional remedies. Okay. Right to equality comes under 14 to 18 articles. Then it is in 19 to 22. Then right against exploitation comes under 23 and 24. Then article 25 to 28 deals with freedom of religion. Then article 29 to 30 talks about cultural and educational rights. And article 32 is specifically for right to constitutional remedies. Okay. Now can you tell me which article of Indian constitution gives a person power to go to high court if they feel that any of their fundamental right is being exploited? Okay, listen again. Here I'm asking of High Court, not Supreme Court. Please tell me the name of that particular article. So do remember Pakistan has recently appointed Aisha Malik as the first woman judge of the Supreme Court of Pakistan. The Supreme Court has recently appointed an inquiry committee under its former judge, Justice Indu Malhotra to probe the security breach during Prime Minister Modi's visit to Punjab. Okay, this name is quite important. So the committee will look into the reasons for security breach and suggest various type of measures that are necessary for the security of our Prime Minister and other constitutional functionaries. Question number nine, which Indian state is the host of second SAAF and National Cross Country Athletics Championship? So the second South Asian Athletic Federation Cross Country Championship and the 56th National Cross Country Athletics Championship will be held in Kohima on 26th of March. So correct answer is Nagaland. Do remember that this tournament will be the first ever international athletics event in Nagaland and more than 600 athletes will participate in this event from all the AFI affiliated states and union territories of the country and also South Asian countries as well. Okay. Now India and UAE signed the historic comprehensive economic partnership agreement to boost the trade to $100 billion over the next five years. And as a part of the agreement, the leaders agreed to establish an IIT in the UAE. So these IITs are governed by the Institutes of Technology Act 1961 and there are 23 IITs in India at present. Do remember, DEF Expo is scheduled to be held in Gandhi Nagar in the state of Gujarat in the month of March again. It is the Asia's largest defense exhibition. Okay. Then Terry has recently hosted the latest edition of World Sustainable Development Summit. What does Terry stand for? The Energy and Resources Institute. And the theme for this event was Towards a Resilient Planet, Ensuring a Sustainable and Equitable Future. Okay. Now coming to last question. 
India Asia Express Undersea Cable is the project of which telecom company? So Reliance Jio has announced that it will land the next generation multi terabit undersea cable in Maldives to connect it with India and Singapore. So this new India Asia Express undersea cable in Maldives will provide over 200 terabit per second of capacity at a speed nearly 100 GB per second. So this system originates in Mumbai, connects to Singapore with branches including additional landings in India, Malaysia and Thailand. Okay. Now back from it, do remember that RBI has recently included Airtel Payments Bank in the second schedule of RBI Act 1934. Also, HDFC, ICICI Bank and SBI are to remain as domestic systematically important bank. Now, Union Cabinet has approved the extension of National Commission for Safai Karamcharis for three years with effect from 1st of April 2022. And it is a body under Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. Also, as per the Chinese government data, India's bilateral trade with China has increased to 43.3% in 2021, despite India's measures to decrease the dependence on imports from China and increased emphasis on our self-reliance. Okay. Now, let's start with today's quiz. Here on the slide, you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two, three days current affairs. Pause the video and try to solve each of these questions. And at the end of the lecture, do not forget to share your scores in the comment section. So please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. These were the important news and events from today. And we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe to GK Today. With this, Meenu Zahar Sanat signing off.